It's the champ, Shannon the Cannon, two-time heavyweight champion in the world. And you're watching Sports Icons. Subscribe. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Champ. Right, so the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Shannon the Cannon Briggs, wants to reignite his rivalry with David Hay. And he believes that David Hay may come back being that he's not going to be happy going out the way that he did, taking two losses to Tony Bellew. He may want to get back in the ring and he's throwing his hat forward to David Hay to say, let's have this fight that you were supposed to give me once before. And I'll put the article in the description box for you guys. And Shannon Briggs, he says about had they have fought at the time when they were supposed to have fought, fought then David Hay would not have fought Tony Bellew because he would have ended um, David Hay. Anyway, this is what Shannon Briggs had to say. It would have been an early night. When I'm angry and I've got something to fight for, I'm charged up. Two guys who don't like each other is a great fight. If David Hay had fought me before he fought Tony Bellew, there wouldn't have been a Tony Bellew fight. I ain't the prettiest brother, but he would have been looking like me after the fight. He would have never fought again. But that Bellew fight just wasn't enough. David Hay still feels like I can get one more shot and I think he's going to come back. My gut feeling says David is going to come back and I'm going to be waiting for him. So that is Shannon Briggs' statement. So he believes that uh, David Hay will come back. He believes that David Hay still has that sense of delusionness in him where he's going to think that I can just have one more go and who knows, maybe become world champion. Now, for me, I was very disappointed with David Hay for his Haymaker 2.0, 3.0, 5.0, whatever point oh it was. Um, because you see, David Hay, for me, he was one of the reasons that I kind of got back into watching boxing again. I kind of fell out of it for quite some time. I felt that the domestic scene was pretty stagnant. But um, David Hay, doing what he'd done at Cruiserweight, then moving up to Heavyweight, challenging both Klitschko brothers, wearing the T-shirts, all that kind of thing. I always... Um, kind of like fell into the hype, I really did. And when David Hay beat Nikolai Valuev, I was like, hey, yeah, maybe we've got, we've actually got a British guy now at heavyweight to properly get behind. Because at the time, all we really had was like the likes of a a prospect in um, Derek Chisora, a prospect in David Price, and Audi Harrison was coming to an end. So David Hay kind of reignited the heavyweight scene here in Britain, or at least for me anyway. So... Um, I loved David Hay for a long, long time, but when he was supposed to fight Tyson Fury and then pulled out of the rematch, oh, sorry, he, he then pulled out of the fight, then set up um, to have the fight again and then pulled out again and then had shoulder surgery and then was off for, what, three, three and a half years. Then come back, fought Mark Demore, which I was okay with. It's a comeback fight after all that time out of the ring. And then he was supposed to be fighting Shannon Briggs. And, then, and of course, he even put the tickets up for sale as well for all the fans to buy tickets for his next event promising to be a big name and a dangerous fighter and one that the fans will really love and then when fans are buying tickets and booking hotels it turns out to be Arnold Zhejai Shannon Briggs turned up at the press conference for that as well didn't he you all remember that uh, for me that was one big con from David Hay and I was not impressed whatsoever but even then after Arnold Zhejai he promised um, Shannon Briggs, if you fight on my undercard, I'll fight you next. Shannon Briggs did that. He didn't. He still didn't fight him. So again, I wasn't impressed with the way David Hay was um, in any of that. Um, but again, even after those two bum fights, let's be honest, that's exactly what they were. Mark Demore and Arnold Zhejai, he got ranked to become mandatory for the WBO, who was the champion at the time, Joseph Parker. So he was supposed to fight Joseph Parker. He pulled out of a world heavyweight title shot against Joseph Parker to fight Tony Bellew. It backfired on him spectacularly. Of course, his, um, his Achilles heel went in that first fight. He showed great heart and it was a great fight, but really he should have took the heavyweight title fight against Joseph Parker. But I do feel that uh, Shannon Briggs, he wants David Hay and had that fight happened, listen, based on the way that uh, David Hay was looking, his uh, style changed. He looked bulked up. Um, I don't think the vegan thing really worked out for him, uh, be, being a heavyweight. And he looks slow. Um, all, all his attributes had gone. The power seemed to have dipped. His speed had gone, which is why Tony Bellew was able to get the better of him. Had he fought um, Shannon Briggs, I think Shannon Briggs may well have steamrolled him. At the time, I was picking David Hay to beat Briggs. 
But in hindsight, I think that David Hay may well have got done by Shannon Briggs and he didn't fancy it. In fact, David Hay even ran off when um, Shannon Briggs confronted him um, um, in America on the uh, Carl Frampton Santa Cruz card. So, yeah, um, David Hay wasn't too interested in that. But if he is going to come back, he may look at Shannon Briggs and think, well, you know what, you're 47 years old. You're only dangerous for the first two or three rounds. I'll get you past those couple of rounds because of your asthma and your age. I could do you. So maybe David Hay may be tempted. Maybe. Who knows? But anyway, so I'll put the article in the description box. You guys go give it a read for yourself. Come to your own thoughts. Do you think David Hay may come back and take on Shannon Briggs? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.